Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt from RC Overload. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing a small little update video for you guys on Project Apex. I've been doing a lot of work on the side, um, testing things out. I, you know, there's a lot of stuff I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So I'd rather do that stuff off camera. Um, but I have gotten quite a bit done, so I'm going to show you guys that today. But what you guys are probably noticing is the background. It's different. I'm actually in one of uh, one of my old locations that I first started RC Overload at. Um, I left here, went to the location you guys most recently know, but now I'm back and I'm back for good. So, not much has changed, as some of you guys know. Uh, I still have the board up with all my parts. I got the shelf with my Axel SCX10 up here, uh, and then my workspace down here. So. I've been doing a lot of stuff the past week. Um, I've been doing a lot of painting, too. Been practicing my painting skills. Um, for instance, let me uh, let me show you guys the very first RC body that I have actually ever painted. Hold on. No, I didn't have any purpose behind this painting. Um, it was half-fast. I did it purposely because I was trying to mix two colors to see how things look. Different ways, lighter, darker, darker, lighter, so forth. So this is kind of like a test body, also. There you go. The Desert Militia body. It's all red. It's kind of cool. I was just testing out a few things on it. Um, cool bashing body whatnot. Um, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of painting the past couple of days, and uh, I've been doing some work to Project Apex. So why don't I bring the camera up a little bit closer to the workspace so you guys can see. No, I'm not going to be using the GoPro today because I'm not doing actual work to it. I'm just showing you guys a little bit of what's going on. Um, I will have some stuff here coming up, you know, that I'll be able to use the GoPro with. Um, but for the most part, I'm kind of nearing the end of the use for the GoPro. So, we'll see how things go. But, let me bring you guys a little closer here. Alright, hold on. Alright guys, so, uh, as you can see, there's tires on it. And a few other little things going on here. Um, I have mounted up a set of Proline Racings. Oh, excuse me. Got caught there. Trencher tires. Look at those things. Uh, they are mounted on Proline's beadlocks. This semi beadlock. It's you know not a hundred percent true beadlock. Uh, it does have foam inside. Uh, they do have the air holes. You know. So they seem like they'll do pretty good for what I want it to do, and it looks totally awesome on there. Um, I have also, as you guys can see, I have some wires hanging off. That is part of the L Traxxas LED light kit for the Summit. You know, let me back this up a little bit. Oh, oh, sorry guys, a little shaky shaky. Hi! Um, so, I got the tires mounted. You know, I wanted a rolling chassis and that was easy enough. Um, you know, I have the rear end locked. I have the front end unlocked. As you guys can see, that other tire spins backwards. Um, but as far as the LED light kit goes, uh, you guys can see I have the four headlights up front, two right here, um, and another two on the sides of the bumper. I also, on the rear, have the two red LEDs and the rear bumper. Uh, we have the control, if you guys can see it, uh, the control port that actually goes into that secondary servo spot. You can see it's sticking out at the bottom there. And uh, I also have, and I mounted this up before making the video because I did run into a few problems. So I've got it mounted up now and it works. But as you guys can see, if you look close enough, there is a custom mount on the front of this Re uh, Revo, Project Apex. This mount was made by Andrew over at Big Daddy's RC Customs. He made this specifically for this vehicle right here. 
And what it is, is we're going to take the ESC, and it's going to go right in the front, just like that. It's going to be a cool little bracket that mounts right above the front springs using the back spring screws to hold it in place. Now I'll show you guys what I mean. If you look in there, you can see the two screws, one right about there and one right about there. Those are the screws that hold the front shocks in and it just goes all the way through, no problems. Yeah, it's not that easy to adjust the springs, uh, but I can still get to them, which is fine with me um, because the front seem actually pretty good when I put this thing down. So this mount allows for that extra weight to be put up front from the ESC uh, because I am going to have a lot of weight in the rear from the batteries and the 27 turn motor that's going in here. Uh, speaking of that, I got to tell you guys a little something with that. Um, so it keeps it all evenly spaced out. I don't have the room on the sides here to put the ESC. Um, it just doesn't fit. The receiver is going in the old pocket. Let me get this out of the way. Sorry guys. <clears throat> the ESC, the receiver, excuse me, two channel receiver is going to just get double side sticky taped into the old pocket. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to use the stock cover. I think I'm going to leave it exposed, so I may waterproof this. Um, I also have done installing the 55 tooth spur gear on here and installed the slipper clutch back in. Uh, so we have a full rotating unit. Good to go. So that's for that. Uh, I have been doing a few other things like setting up this whole new workstation all at the same time. Uh, the ESC, last time I'll say it, the ESC is now waterproofed. It has been hydro dip, um, plasti dip. Man, I cannot talk, I need soda. <sighs> Still not as good as my coffees. Yeah, anyways, plasti dipped the electronics of the ESC to make that waterproof or at least hope it's not waterproof um, so that's all set uh, I am going to be putting on a set of Dean's connectors instead of these um, these connectors here for the motor there's gonna be a Traxxas connector going on this one because it's gonna need to hook into the LED light kit that's now in the car um, right here which is a Traxxas connector, and the fact that the batteries are all still Traxxas connectors, too. So, I gotta do a little bit of soldering. That's all gonna get happened on the side of, um, you know, at night on the side, not videotaping that, because that's just kind of boring watching smoke and metal burn, screw up a few times, maybe swear, get angry at it. You know, I, I just, I don't want to show that on camera right now. <laughs> um, but some other things that are happening, I am putting dual batteries in here. So I have a parallel connector set up. Uh, so I get more longer run times than power. I don't need that extra power coming out of the LiPos. Um, I just want longer run times. So... Instead of having like a 15 minute run, 15, 20 minute run time, what I was getting before, I could almost double that. Um, and if I keep my speed slow, I may even get longer than that. So we'll see. Everything on this is a test. I've never done this kind of work to this before. Uh, so this is still all new to me. Yeah, a lot of it is just bolt up stuff, but there's a lot of mixing and matching of things. Um, that I've never done before, like put this awesome mount in for my buddy Andrew. That was interesting. Um, you know, just a lot of stuff in here that I've never done with an RC. So this is, this to me is cool. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, let's see here, what else have I done? Oh, the 27 turn motor is fried. It's dead. 
it's no good. It, it's gone. Um, I tested out the electronics. I've tested everything out on it. The motor is definitely gone. Uh, I don't know if rust is just on the electronics inside or something broke. I'm not sure, but I'm not getting anything out of it. So I'm going to have to order up a new one, and you guys are going to have to wait a little bit before I can get that put in. Otherwise, I was going to hope to do that today, but it's a good thing I tested it out. Uh, so there's that with the motor. Um, to give you guys a little look here, here is the Apocalypse body. Okay. It's, I still need to smooth it out a little bit. I've been doing a little bit here and there. Uh, it's coming along nicely. Still got to make the post holes. Um, I got to make some holes here for the wires to come through for the LED lights that are going to be on the roof. Excuse me. Um, but you guys can get an idea. It's going to say apex down the side at an angle. Uh, there's going to be a cool little design going front to back on the sides, both sides. And then the rest is just going to be one solid color. But I'm not giving much away as to what I'm doing with it. There's only a few people know that as far as what I'm trying to do with the body. And I'm hoping that it comes out looking okay. So uh, we'll keep it a surprise for right now. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I'm at. Um, I guess I could put the body on for you guys a little bit. Give you guys an idea as to what we're looking at um, with this. You know, just kind of play around for a minute. You know, today is just an update video day. There's nothing too fancy about today. Not putting anything on. A lot of it has just been over the video. Um, so there's a general idea. It looks just like the Summit. It really does. Uh, and that's the whole purpose of it, is this Apocalypse body is designed for the Summit. It's going to sit lower. Um, but I think this thing is going to be totally awesome just knowing that it's got a 27 turn axle motor in here uh, the apocalypse body the proline trencher tires on here um, it just it's gonna look totally awesome when it's all said and done so uh, yeah that's pretty much it this is fun Sorry, I'm a little burnt out, you guys. I've uh, been doing a lot of work the past week, getting this all <clears throat> set up, trying to figure out what things work, what things don't. Um, so, and this is a project, you know? It's been fun. Anyways, so there's Project Apex, a little overview update as far as uh, where I've gotten with it. And uh, hopefully in the next video we can mount up the motor and kind of get the electronics all sorted out. Get those all installed. Um, because after that, it's just a matter of putting on the body, really. And having that painted up. So, I'm excited. We're nearing the end of this project a little bit. Still got a lot to do. But nonetheless, this thing is going to be awesome. So... That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I know nothing special, but it is a little update. Give you guys an idea as to what's going on. So, till next time, have fun. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.